Alright, this is part two to my security tag removal video. That video has like millions of views. This video, I'm going to take your suggestions, things that you said to try, and we're going to put it to the test. We're going to try 11 different ways to remove this security tag. And again, these are ideas from you. So let's get started. Right. Leanne, did you steal another shirt? No, oh, I have receipts right here. You know, we'll get hundreds of comments. Be like, well, you should pay for it. Got the receipt. Well, guess what? Coles did it again. Show us, Leanne. Where's it at? She missed one. It's right there. That right, guys. Way to go, Coles. I saw her taking them off. She Either missed. Leanne likes to steal shirts or Cole's really bad at removing these tags. So we already know the burn method. Let's try some other methods. Thanks, Leanne. We're going to make another video. Yay! Thanks. Nice. We need a part two to this video. We have so many views on our part one. In our part one, the link is in the description below. So many people said, first of all, pay for the item. You know Leanne has the receipt there. So many people said, use a magnet. I have the world's strongest magnet right here. Check this out. This thing is strong. Oh, look. It says right here, it is a super strong magnet. This magnet is from um, my aquarium, okay? This magnet holds this pump on the aquarium. And so I took that off. It's super strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny it says that. So let's see. And all we're going to do is put the magnet on this side. <coughs> well, yeah, I can feel that, that that magnet was pretty tight. And look at this. Let's see here. That came off, and that took like five seconds. Wow, that was quick. I got your little shirt done. All right. I can't believe this. So this uh, security tag that Coles uses, there is no ink in here, first of all. Uses a simple magnet. Check that out. All right, but what if it's not this style? I got another style security tag to show you. What you think? Wow, I couldn't believe it. That was a super strong magnet. I never would have thought that. I want to test some other theories people had, like use a spoon, a fork, a hammer. But what if the security tag is this kind with the end hole? Magnet does not work on this. This does not work with a magnet. These kind uses a little device like this that goes in here, and it would it would pop that up. Even with that device, this is really hard. So. Let's try to open this up. That's a strong magnet. So we know that the fastest way to remove these is with a super strong magnet. Except for the ones, and that's if there's no end holes. There is an end hole. So let's try some. Leanne wouldn't let me use any of her shirts. Probably for good reason here, what we're going to try. So I cut up an old pillowcase. Don't tell her. Uh, somebody. Some ladies who must be super strong said she just grabs it and pulls it. So let's see. Here we go. I'm pulling. I pulled. I think I ripped the land. See, this is why Lena didn't want me to use her shirt. The method does not work. This is. It did rip. Got it off. Do not use this method. Do not use the pull method. Let's try the next method. An interesting method, somebody says they use two forks or a spoon. First of all, these are down there really tight. I don't even know if I can get a fork in there. All right, I got a fork down in there. It's in there pretty far. Let's see what happens. How do I film this? Do not tell Leanne about her bent fork. Fork method did not work. Along the same lines, somebody says, Use a spoon. So let's try that. Oh, the spoon goes in there pretty good. That's a pretty strong spoon, too. Ah, uh, but got some relief. Spoon is working better than fork. Look at that. Let's get two spoons. The problem with the spoon is that this spins around. We did get it at the start. We're going to keep trying with the spoon. Keep watching. This is our backup plan. It's cut big enough. We could probably get um, 
maybe a bolt cutter in there too. Here's my little bolt cutter I was thinking about using. If I can get that in there, we can snap it. Oh, I can't get it in there far enough. So close. Hmm. All right, it was out. A little bolt cutters. I said I almost forgot. One of my friends works in retail. And she said they usually use a pair of scissors to remove the tags. Not to cut them, but to prime. Hope we don't ruin the scissors. Maybe I better find them another pair of that in case it gets ruined. So let's see, I got a pair of scissors. I found some old rusty scissors. How are we gonna do this? I'm trying to figure out how we can do this without ruining the item. Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Everyone post in the comments below about this one. Okay, we're in there. Now what? Pry it apart. I should have safety glasses on. Did it work? It's almost out. Made progress. There we go. Try again. This takes a lot of um, effort, too. Oh, man. We're going to cut the clothes. Did you see that? Guys, this could be dangerous. Oh, man, we almost have it. We can get in here with our bolt cutters now and cut it. That did work. Let's see if we had any damage. Uh, it's a little scuffed up. I think we caused um, a good bit of damage with this method. It kind of worked, but but might not be the best method. All right, I found a tiny hammer. I think I can get that in there. Get it in there like this and pry up. Mm-hmm. You can see it's prying it up, but. Kind of hard putting that in there. Let's go outside and try the big hammer. This is really, we're really us scuffing up, uh, getting this all scuffed up here, too. Gonna have to throw this fork away, I think. All right, so we are now outside. I'm using a blue shirt here this time. I lost some of that footage I recorded before. I'm trying to think how I want to hit this. I might just hit it down like this and then. Hit it straight on. Let's try that for the first method. Okay, the pin's coming through. So here's the other way. We want to hit it on the side. This is definitely the better way to do it. We can pry that open now and look inside. All right, let's take a closer look inside here. I found this old putty knife thing outside. We can get in here and we can pry it open the rest of the way. Let's see if we did any damage. There was a little bit of damage. Hmm. But this part, like, depends on where the tag's at. It might be okay. Looking inside this type. Well, this is the this is the simple part here that grabs the pin, and it grabs it tight too. We'll call this the sledgehammer method, and what I'll say is it does work. It's pretty quick too. All right, let's try one last way. Let's try the old fire method on this kind. This is really unique. This is like so simple. There's no ball bearings like the Coles one, so we know the hammer method works. All right, do this outside. We're just going to fast forward through some of this. There's a lot to burn through here. 
You can see the pin is starting to show through here. This is taking a lot longer with this type. All right, we just burned through here. So now you can see inside here. Yep, that's pretty hot. The piece is still holding on. Did you see that? It just fell off. Let's see what kind of damage we did. Where was it? Oh, here's the hole. A little bit of dirt. All right, so the fire method works. Boy, it takes longer here with this. Wow, we tested a lot of methods. And some of them worked, some of them didn't. So thank you for hanging in there watching the whole video. Um, magnet method worked for some, doesn't work for this type. Sledgehammer, fire, still works. And hey, post comments below. Maybe there'll be a part three. What didn't we try? Please post your comments. I know there'll be a, probably hundreds of, just pay for the item. That won't be a problem still is a problem. Hey, especially Kohl's. Hey, I'd like to thank Kohl's for forgetting to remove these so I can make these videos. Oh, also, please subscribe. Please subscribe to Steve's Real World. Me and Leanne has a ton of videos. Look, we have like thousands of videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.